Whether you're hunting or practicing with firearms, there are several things you can see and control, like where your muzzle's pointing, if the safety's on, and if the gun is loaded. But there's some very important things happening that you just can't see, like the speed and angle at which the bullet travels, and the distance that it will go. And these factors make up the science of ballistics. Ballistics, the science of the motion of projectiles, such as bullets or pellets. Nice shot. So we saw where the bullet hit, but what's really happening as the bullet is rocketed toward the target? Once it leaves the gun, the bullet of a 22 caliber will not travel in a straight line. Instead, it slowly drops due to gravity. At 100 yards, it will have dropped about four inches. So in order to hit the bullseye, we have to aim four inches higher at the get-go. Now, Haley made that bullseye because she knows her gun and she practices with it. Thank you. So it's our responsibility as hunters to know the ballistics of our firearm and ammunition before we pull the trigger. Another important thing to know is how far your bullet will travel. How far do you think a 22 caliber rifle bullet can go? 100 yards, 500 yards, over 1,700 yards. If you guessed over a thousand yards, you're correct. A 22 caliber bullet can travel over a mile. Wow, over a mile. So it's obviously important to only shoot at game or targets when you have a backstop. Now that you've seen what a 22 can do, let's consider some other popular calibers. You should know how far a bullet could go before you pull the trigger. This 243 bullet can travel 2.5 to 3.5 miles. This 270 bullet can travel 2.5 to 3.5 miles. This 3030 bullet can travel 2 to 2.5 miles. This 308 bullet can travel 2.5 to 3.5 miles. So, as you can see, these bullets can travel a very long distance. Just be sure that you're shooting against a backstop. All right, let's go get the shotguns. The pellets from a shotgun travel very differently than the bullet from a rifle. They most certainly do. You see, unlike the single rifle bullet, the pellets or shot from a shotgun create a shot pattern. And that's affected by a lot of things, such as the gauge of the shotgun shell, the length of the shell, the choke in the barrel, and of course, the distance to the target. Let's start with the gauge. Gauge, measure related to the diameter of the smooth shotgun bore and the size of the shot shell designed for that bore. Shotguns come in different gauges, from the little 410 all the way up to the 10 gauge, the most popular being the 20 gauge and the 12 gauge. The length of the shells differ as well. The longer the shell, the more pellets it can potentially contain, and the number of pellets can affect your shot pattern. Another thing to consider is the choke. The choke in my barrel affects the spread of my pellet pattern. So there are three main choke types. Full, modified, and improved. With a full choke, I have a smaller, denser pattern of pellets. With an improved choke, I have a wider, less dense pattern of pellets. The third choke type is a modified choke, which is in between the full and improved. The effective range is different for all three choke types, and the type of game you are hunting will help determine the type of choke you use. No matter the choke or gauge, shotgun pellets can travel a long ways, anywhere from 150 yards to over 400 yards. So you should be aware of where your shotgun pellets can fall. Whether you're hunting or practicing, think firearm safety before you pull that trigger. Know what your gun is capable of and your abilities as a shooter. And practice may make perfect, but being smart will keep everyone safe.